Hey, that comment is wild. Alex on the fly says, of course, ambulances are slower in the U.S. They have to check your financial background first before they decide if it's worth the effort. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a interesting video that came across my feed. Thanks to you guys in the chat on twitch.tv slash James Bray Gang. We were having a discussion, a very heated discussion about the way that American ambulances and German ambulances are treated in each respective country. Now, as far as I've been alive, I've noticed that in America, one of the standard rules of engagement when it comes to emergency vehicles on the road, and this includes cop cars, is you move out of the way. If the cop car turns its lights on and it starts flashing red and blue, you pull to the right side of the road or the left side of the road, whatever side's closer to you, so you can make a clear path for them to get to their destination. That also applies to ambulances as well. But it has been brought to my attention, people in America are not doing that. So in this video, we're gonna be reacting to American ambulances versus German ambulances. So let me know in the comments down below if you've seen that diabolicalness in America of people not moving out of the way for emergency vehicles, or on the flip side, in Germany, people not moving out of the way because out of all the people who've reacted to this my fellow americans that be reacting to these videos act like people don't be splitting out of the road or making a way for these emergency vehicles to get to their destination when in fact everywhere i've been in america if there has been an emergency vehicle people move out of the way by any means it's, it's literally illegal to block an emergency vehicle oh this is america oh no This is diabolical, bro. This gotta be New York. It says Broadway Columbus, 100% this is New York. So I guess they're pulling like anomalies. This normally does not happen. These these cars and buses would have been completely out of the way in rural America, but because this is a major city and nobody cares about anybody in major cities. Yeah, I, I guess I see the, this is, this is insane. What the heck, bro? This doesn't make any sense. This literally doesn't make any, like you're not. Oh, bro. I thought you weren't allowed to do this. Everywhere I've been, the cars move out of the way, bro. People just genuinely don't care here. Because in this video, uh, in this example right here before us, we have an ambulance weaving through traffic because no one's moving out of the way. So the ambulance quite literally has to play need for speed to get to the destination. Typically speaking, if you go to a Southern state or a place that's more rural, you will notice that the vehicles will have the same response as the vehicles in Germany. This is, this is wild. Look at this. This is some horse shit. You know why this video is here? Because this doesn't normally happen. So they had to put it on the internet because they couldn't believe what they were seeing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You got three emergency vehicles and nobody's moving? Three, four, you got four, four. Oh. To be fair here, the streets are, are more clear, but look at the setting. Pay attention to the setting when people show you these videos. Let's use some cognitive reasoning here, man. This is a city, okay? A city in America. Those are two things that, that, that go hand in hand. The cities in America, people don't care about anybody, all right? They don't care about anybody but they sell. Are rules broken all the time? Absolutely. Are people gonna care about an emergency vehicle trying to make it from point A to point B? No. They're not going to care. I thought it was illegal to do stuff like that. This doesn't make any damn sense. Again, you literally see that this is... I feel like this is a New York montage. Just call this a New York montage. That doesn't represent America. This is a New York montage. Well, obviously here this is different because you have you have at this point they're just showing the different types of uh, emergency vehicles that we have because streets are clear, totally clear. Okay. Hey man, I know this is not like 
a normal occurrence. I, I guess in the city it is because, you know, there's violent crimes committed and people that get injured on a grand scale, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and fast forward because I get the gist of it. Ambulances and traffic. Oh, yeah, they're slow. They're very slow, but here's the reason why. People try their hardest to get hit by cars, especially in cities, so they can get a quick bag. That's the biggest thing. They try their hardest to get hit by cars in the city so that you can get a fat check from a court case. You know what I'm saying? Like people will go so crazy out here. The difference between Germany and America, man, I rarely, rarely, rarely hear people talk about, oh, I'm gonna sue you. Uh, what is it like for Klagadish or some, something like that? Uh, basically like you don't really hear people lobbing the insult i'm gonna sue you right as a threat in germany you hear that in america all the time because people will be in their bag and they're like this motherfucker hit me i want my money give me my money this isn't this is insane yeah also it looked like the vehicles ain't trying to get nowhere quickly at all this is definitely some new york ass shit yeah, let me give you some some other context right because i know half the people reacting to this haven't been through this before so your boy me i grew up in chicago right and obviously chicago is, has historically been known for violent crimes whenever there would be a shooting called in uh there would be a, you know obviously an active shooting happening or uh, people were injured and there was a violent crime taking place currently, right? And there had to be cops and ambulances and fire trucks sent out to the location. You know what would happen? All of them would take their sweet fucking time because they're scared to be in a high stakes situation where they could possibly get injured. It's basically GTA over there, man. This ambulance is probably driving hella slow because they feel like maybe if they wait long enough, there won't be no shootings, bro. When they get to their, their destination, the violent crime that was called in won't be occurring because all the parties will be dead or severely injured and immobile. Makes sense to me. Or this person just genuinely doesn't give a fuck and he's driving slow as hell. Either way, why turn your lights on if you're not booking it? This is crazy. Crazy work. Because I'm telling you, me seeing this is like stepping into a different reality because where most of the time that I've seen emergency vehicles, they move with some hustle. Like they're, they're roaming, they're booming, unless, unless you're in a major city where obviously you have a lot of wild crimes taking place because they're gonna, you know, they're gonna save themselves first. Oh, reports of an active shooting on this street and this street on this intersection. Oh, okay. Let me go stop by Dunkin' Donuts real quick and drive as slow as I possibly can so when I get there, all I gotta do is scrape the bodies off the concrete. That's basically it. See, the only thing, bro, the only person that's doing anything is that biker. These cars don't care, bro. Also, you gotta think these ambulances cannot drive very fast in cities for another reason that is actually more practical. There's way too many other vehicles on the road and the likelihood of you getting into an accident is incredibly high if you're driving. Now, especially if you're driving that fast, think about it. You're an ambulance, you're zooming through all of this traffic in a congested area where people don't give a fuck about you. Well, if no one respects the emergency vehicles and you're driving 80 miles an hour in the inner city limits, what do you think is gonna happen to your vehicle? You will become Paul Walker. Your vehicle will get balled the hell up. So I think they're driving slow also as a precautionary tactic to make sure that they can survive going through stuff like this. This isn't, but although I do get why in some cases they drive so slow, it's still is diabolical dude yeah and i know the color is different too i haven't seen some of the colors of these ambulances before like the orange ambulances i haven't seen that shit i've only seen the red and uh white ambulances in america yeah you you can see some pep in this step all right the loud noises the get the fuck out of the way like okay there's there's some there's some more pep in the step here a little bit faster a little bit faster Obviously, they can't go too fast or they'll tip the vehicle over. This makes a lot more sense. A lot more sense. Night and day. Bro, y'all got Mercedes ambulances? Oh my God. Bro, I'm not going to lie. If I'm being fully honest, 
these vehicles are going just as fast as the vehicles we saw in the previous clips. Is that based or not? Like, these vehicles are going just as fast as the previous ambulance vehicles. And let me also note that all of the clips they've shown so far, which has just been two for Germany, they've been in rural areas. So that's like saying America has shootings all over the place, which we do, but they only show the inner cities. And then they're like, well, Germany doesn't have any crime. And it shows the middle of buttfuck nowhere in Germany. It shows Alt Schauerberg or like some fucking Alpalachian mountain range area. They got one person that living out there. It doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any fucking sense. I will say, like, yeah, there's more spunk. There is more sense of urgency with this, but... Yeah. Okay, this is more accurate. This seems like more of a city-esque area. But again, this vehicle's moving just as slow as the emergency vehicles in America that we just literally saw a few minutes ago. Okay. I will say this. Oh, that's a fire truck. I'm like, bro, is this an ambulance bus? No, nah, it's a fire truck. Foya there. It literally says it on the front. Foya there. But it looks like a like a city bus, bro. Your fire trucks look so fucking iced out. This looks like a like a millionaire's bus. Yeah, I don't want to hear a singular thing or read a singular comment that talks about how slow American ambulances are when y'all drive like this, bro. With, like, no cars in front of you. You're Germany. Y'all have a literal Autobahn, and you drive like this? This is this, Germany, this you? This is the one of the slowest emergency vehicles I've seen. You guys are maybe, like, a half a kilometer faster than the emergency vehicles in the inner city that we just saw a few clips back in America. This is, bro, diabolical, honestly. Someone was trolling when they made this video. Because obviously these guys didn't have to be anywhere. They're driving slow as hell. The amount of emergency vehicles and stuff, they're just moving locations. I'm pretty sure they're all just going to go to a different establishment, park their vehicles there, boom. Because it's obviously not that big of a deal like for them. They're not in a rush in this scenario. <laughs> Hey, that comment is wild. Alex on the fly says, of course, ambulances are slower in the U.S. They have to check your financial background first before they decide if it's worth the effort. <laughs> you, sir, are out of pocket. That was like 13, 14 ambulances right there. Oh, listen, listen, listen. I know I was talking some shit about the german emergency vehicles and it wasn't even that much shit i was talking i'm just saying that you guys drive just as slow as we do but in this scenario i can't say you guys drive just as slow as we do but you guys do drive slow you drive a tad bit faster than the emergency vehicles in america especially when it comes to inner city limits but i will say this your vehicles look better your your vehicles function better and bro what is this? You guys have like the uh, the emergency vehicles off of like Fast and Furious or Need for Speed and stuff. You got the souped up nice cars and stuff like that. Like, oh my gosh. You probably got like nitrous and turbo boosters in, in each of your vehicles, man. This looks amazing. I love you guys' designs. I'm jealous. I am jealous of the designs of your car. If I get shot... I want to be escorted in like a, a, a Rolls Royce that you, like y'all got out there in Germany, man. <laughs> Notes are pulling up in that all special. Yeah. Nordex. Nordex. Deutsches Rolls Royce. That's a thick boy right there, man. That's a big boy. Oh my God, that's a big boy. That's a chonker right there, dude. That's a chunky ass Kronkenwagen, bro. And that did move a lot quicker than the other ambulances in the inner city limits in the previous clips in America. 
and I know that this is a clip from Germany. So, okay, I'm starting to see some more spunk, some more speed in the German vehicles and in comparison to the American vehicles. I, I'm clocking that. Uh, however, the way that the individuals responded to the emergency vehicles in America in the first, what, seven, eight clips that we saw on the American side, that is not representative of all of America at all. At all. Bro, but look at the designs for these vehicles, man. Y'all can't get mad at Germany, G. Oh! These fucking vehicles, bro, look so schnazzy, bro. They look so schnazzy. I love them. I love them. They look nice. Like, I would feel like the bougiest dude on the planet driving an emergency vehicle in Germany. I'm like, hmm, let me get in my Mercedes real quick. Oh. <laughs> Sergius the dorm, dorm, the dorm mouse says, in Serbia, the traffic lawmakers have a plan for ambulance drivers to allow them to use the stopping lane on the highway if the other lanes are congested with vehicles. But the issue is that highways pass through major cities and the traffic police in Serbia is merciless on that subject. And they're very excited to write tickets to ambulance drivers. That's diabolical, dude. I always wondered, like, can cops and emergency vehicles get tickets as well in Germany? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, this is what we want to see more of. A fast-paced vehicle getting from point A to point B. That's what we want to see. We want to see some some expedition, man. We want to see some, uh, some spunk, some speed, some urgency. We want to see more urgency with these vehicles. And Germany in general has a sense of urgency when it comes to using their emergency vehicles. However, comma, they still move kind of slow in these videos. All right, y'all. Y'all officially, anybody that's German in my chat right now cannot talk shit, bro. Look how the, the, the emergency flashing lights are going crazy. And it's driving, what, five, fumf kam ha, fumf kam ha. This guy just ran in front of the Krankenwagen, bro. Like, what? I will say this, I do think that the noise for the emergency vehicles in Germany is a lot more effective than the one in the United States. And while the ones in the United States are somewhat loud, they're not as loud or annoying and potent as the ones in Europe. If you hear an ambulance in Germany, I swear to God, I feel like part of the reason why my hearing is fucked up is because of these emergency vehicles, man. They're loud. They are very fucking loud so this link was shared with me and we're going to check this out it's a lesson in civilization from germany so the ambulance hurtling through traffic this is in 2016 oh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so this is what you guys are talking about when you say retnungsgasse that's what it's supposed to look like Listen, the difference between you guys' and ours, right, is we're all angled out. Like, we drive slanted on the outskirts of the road. We try to press up against the edges as much as possible, and y'all look like you guys shook hands. And you're like, let's make space and also line the hell up as well. <laughs> This is awesome. This right here is awesome. And it goes so far. This is perfect. This is a prime example of how you should interact with emergency vehicles on the damn highway. Okay. W for, for Deutschland, man. W for Deutschland. That's crazy. W. Oh, my God. Now, Adson, let me talk to you real quick.